Welcome. This is an introduction to cracking the code, a solitaire variant for Android Netrunner. You need to print out a mission card and then find some Scrabble tiles. And you're also going to need a cup to put the Scrabble tiles in. So first we need to find the tiles that match the letters in the code group section and the decryptor section. Start by sorting all your cards by type. You put all the upgrades in the upgrade tab, all the operations in the operation ops tab, and all the ice in the ice tab. Finally we're going to combine assets and agendas into one stack and shuffle them and place them in the server. When the runner makes a successful run on the R&D, you're going to draw a tile. Look at the number result. Compare it to this. So here, the one is the server, so he's going to get either an asset or an agenda. One is also the most common result. On the corporation's turn, they're going to draw a tile. If the matching space for that tile is open, they're going to place it there. Otherwise, you can place it in any spot you want in this row. The number on the tile will tell you how many credits the corporation gets. Underneath it will tell you what actions they can take. So this is where you put your R&D under the card. You're going to put servers to the right of the card. To find out where the ice goes, we draw another tile. Here the result is a 3, so we look down here. It says R&D, so we'd put the ice here. If we'd drawn a 4, we would put it the least protected server from the right, so that would be this one. So so R&D and then servers going this way. The tiles for the check are put back, and that would be the end of their turn. Each turn, the corporation will keep drawing tiles. For instance, this tile spot is already filled, so they have to put it somewhere else. Let's go advancements. Advancements work a little differently. The advancements tokens are placed on your corporation card, and it can be used on any, any card that requires advancements tokens. Whenever you reveal a card with, that needs advancements tokens, they're immediately moved over. Another change is upgrades. Upgrade cards are installed on your corporation card and will affect all servers. The game ends when the corporation is filled in all these slots. This code group represents the corporation trying to track you down and find your location. Once they've filled in all these, they know where you are and they're sending someone to get you. So you have to jack out and run for it. So how does the runner win? The runner still wins through agendas. When you score an agenda, look at the number of agenda points, and that's how many tiles you can steal from the code groups and move to the decryptor. In this case, we'll take the R1. This is a perfect match. And there's no other perfect matches, but we have to take the two tiles. If there weren't any more tiles to take, and I still had to take one, then I would take a brain damage for each extra tile that I could not take. In this case, I'll take S and put it here. If it's not a perfect match, then there's a power surge. You look at the two numbers and combine them, that's how many net damage you're going to take. So I'm going to lose two cards. When I can fill up this whole row, then I've won. So let's do a sample turn. Draw a tile, I'm going to get three credits, and an ice. Normally we draw to see where the ice goes, but there's only R&D, so we're just going to put it there. Next we get an ops. Going to happen immediately, so we're going to pay for the ops and then take its effect, which gets the tag. And then last is an upgrade. Once again, we've got to pay for the upgrade and it gets installed here on our card. Now the run is going to take his turn, and now it's back to the corporation. One more credit and two advancement tokens. So if they can build up enough advancements, then they can steal agendas as they're revealed. Runner would go again, and here we have a tile that does not match. So the runner gets to decide where he wants it to go. So there's no servers out, so we'd probably pick one that is unprotected. So in this spot. Corporation is going to get one credit and is going to put out a server here. So, chance that the ice may go to a spot where it will not protect that server, which would be good for the runner. 
look, it's going to least protected from the left. The R&D is already protected, so the ice is going to protect this after all. Okay, and that's it. Keep going until either the corporation has filled all these tiles, all these spots, the runner has filled all these spots, or the runner's dead. Thank you. Bye.